This video shows the use of the Byroller chart protractor. Byroller is a brand name. But the features of the protractor are that they have a long straight edge so you can lay off lines on a chart. You've also got a, uh, a distance measuring scale along here and this can be used for charts of a scale of either 1 to 80,000 or 1 to 40,000 and that lets you directly read off the distances but the main use of this is to measure angles you can see that the chart the uh, protractor is arranged to show the direction of the course or bearing and it's got a grid system and that grid system is designed to line up with the lines of longitude or the lines of latitude going up and down the chart and it does this by being able to swing this wheel around and note that the wheel also has a grid system on it that lets you align to latitude or longitude so I've set an example up here going from Pioneer Rocks through to Hayman Island Light. You use your protractor to put those two points along the side of the protractor and then you lay off, that is you draw, your course and then inspect it for dangers. And to measure the heading the angle of the heading that we would use to go along that course you would then swing your protractor around so that the lines line up with the uh, latitude or longitude lines on the chart note that the northern part of this protractor is aligned to the northern part of the chart and what you can see there is that the uh, protractor is showing a heading of 0, 035 degrees. True. The other thing you can use this for is to allow for compass error. And you can see compass error if it's easterly or westerly and here we've got the compass rose showing 8 degrees 15 minutes easterly variation so we'll call that 8 degrees east variation this also shows that it's moving one minute to the west every year but that was accurate in 2009 and we'll round that to 8 degrees east so the way we use that if you uh, if you can see that the heading was 35 degrees true there it is 35 degrees true is a bit clearer and if I was to use 8 degrees east variation that would align to 27 degrees magnetic so 35 degrees true would be 27 magnetic if I had 8 degrees east error or sorry variation 27 magnetic or 35 true and you can use this value for a hand bearing compass.